shiku ya kupakala bantu mafuta we are there tuko pale we want to hear something tunapenda kushikia kitu moya what we had prepared for the sake of our jesus kile our tuli, jehovah kile tulitayarisha juu ya kafumo ya yesu wetu jehovah wetu haleluya amen say jehovah thank you very much sema jehovah asante sana say jehovah i love you jehovah i love you thank you very much thank you very much. Yes Lord we love you. My topic is the after life. Kisha maisha. Hallelujah. Amen. The after life. Kisha maisha. If this life pass. Kama hii maisha inapita. What is before? Ni nini ko kumbele after this life kisha hii maisha This is my topic the after life Hii ndio kishina kyangu kya kisha maisha the after world wala kisha dunia or the beyond wala kupitiria lo dela lo dela ile ngambo ile ngambo the beyond ile ngambo ile ngambo ile ngambo say you to the beyond na wewe sema after your life kisha maisha yako because ju your life is white maisha yako iko mweupe your life is light on maisha yako iko na ngaa na asa after this life kisha hii maisha what is there at the other side ni nini ile kokule ngambo this life will pass hii maisha itapita we shall have another life tutapata kama maisha ingine if you sleep kama unalala today is wednesday leo ni mkazi tatu You don't know tomorrow. Aujue kesho. Na asa. When you are living wakati kunaishi on Wednesday. Mkazi tatu. What is waiting for you on Thursday? Ni kinini kiko na kuchunga mkazi nne? This is my topic. Hii ndio kishina kesho. After the life. Kisha maisha. Or the beyond. Kule ngambo. The beyond. Kule ngambo. Ladies and gentlemen. Badada na vijana. Fathers and mummies. Bababa na ba mama. Let me tell you. Acha nimeoneshe. There are two things. Unakala ka bintu mbili. What God created. Bile Mungu aliumbaka. God created. Mungu aliumbaka. The body, maungu and the spirit. Na esprit. Eh? Na for them to be in hanyan bakuya mmoja there was the covenant kuyaka agano what we are calling covenant of atonement ile tuko naita agano ya upatanisho to atone kupatanisha the body mwili to the spirit to esprit what the two things wakati bibi bintu biwiri become one binakuya kimoja directly directement the make god panafanya mungu to be together with them kuya pamoja na wewe please the reason even when wings of cherubs hata wakati les ailes de cherubins the vision tried to enter in a day i said no this is not my topic bana iki kina kishina kyangu my topic is this kishina kyangu ni iki and the song what you prepare it na mwimbo ile mtayarisha Is some of the song of my preaching. The same. You are going. Because no one knows. The day what is coming. Only God himself. What we are preaching the beyond. The afterlife. The 
One day, God chose Moses to become a leader of a crowd. What he didn't grow together with them. Moses didn't grow together with that crowd of Hebrews. But God chose him to be their leaders. As here we are. You were born in other provinces, in other tribes. Today, God put you at this place and chose Mwamba Sivin to become a leader as Moses as they chose him. Now, when God chose him and said, you will lead my people up to the promised land. This is what they have spoken. It's you. I choose you to lead my people up to the promised land. And when they started to go, all the people, all the congregation knew that Moses will make to enter Israel into the promised land. The land what? Milk and honey is going. This is how it is going. After just arriving, there was no solution. Moses fell to enter into the promised land. After failing, God called for him and said, Moses, I told you that you will make enter my children to the promised land, the land where milk and honey is flowing. Now, I see that I've changed my plan. It is not good God to promise you and then he come to change. It seems very bad. I changed my plan. You, you won't enter. But Israel, they will enter. You, you will remain here. And it was where? Into the land of Moab. Moab is a land of Gentiles. Bacon. And God said you will remain here. Into the suffering. Say the afterlife. The afterlife is very black. You don't know. This one today is your friend. But you can stand tomorrow. He will come your enemy. He will come your adversary. You without knowing. You are eating together with him. But you are standing today. He hates you. I don't love you. I don't love you. People can call for advice. Say no, we counsel you. He refuses. It's categorical. No, I don't want. Because what? It is the afterlife. We are living today. We don't know tomorrow. We can eat today. We don't know tomorrow. We can chat today. We don't know tomorrow. Now, as we don't know tomorrow, the afterlife is the secret of God himself. Say the afterlife is the secret of God. Now, let us tell you, let us tell you, the afterlife, you will enter in it unless you saw it when, when you are into the life. The afterlife is the future of everyone. Now, you will leave your future unless if you saw it when you are again into the presence. 
As long as you are not seeing your future, you won't live into your future. Can I come there you are? As long as you don't see your future, you won't live in it. Moses, Musa, God took him and go with him to the highest mountain where they are calling Pisgah. 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 And they put him there. It is in opposite of Jericho. Like this. If you stand up at Pisgah, it is to say you are seeing Jericho like that. And a God start to show him all the land, the territories of Naphtali, territories of Manasseh, and the territories of Zohar, what has gone to Jericho. And I show him again the Great Sea, the Great Sea, what they are calling Mediterranean Sea. God show him it. And he saw it. it and after it, God told him this. That is the land. What I promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to give to their seeds. Now, I make you to see it. But you won't enter in it. And direct Moses there. Only there. The body of Moses died only there and God come and take it and bury it into the plain of Moab. After burying it, the Bible says what? No one knows the tomb of Moses. But it is the secret of God himself. After doing it, the time has passed. When the time has passed now, are we together? Am I together with you? After a long time. Long time plus tard. Long time plus tard. Long time plus tard. Long time plus tard. Jesus come. After coming, finding disciples. They sat down. They start to talk. They are talking. They are talking. They are talking. One day, he said unto them, You know that there are some who are standing up here. They won't test the death. As long as they have not seen the kingdom of God coming into its glory. It is not good to die without seeing the glory of God in your life. Because, let me tell you, if you die without seeing the glory of God, even the day of resurrection, you will resurrect and you won't see it. Whoever who will see the glory of God in the afterlife, it is only the, the one who will sing it when he is into the life. You will inherit the kingdom of God in the afterlife and unless today you see it. After seeing it, the spirit in you will memorize because the spirit is not dying. The body will die. Now, after the death of the body, the spirit will remain. When the spirit will remain, the spirit will continue the project of the body. Let us tell you. Are we together? 
the body Maungu we finish the spirit esprit. will we continue the project of the body ya Maungu. God promised and said Moses it is you who will make Israel to enter in Canaan they are driving into the bush they took the body of Moses so no, it won't enter but God knew that Moses would die but he told him what let us show you where Israel artists are going they put him at the highest mountain and God started to show him there after the time they kill him and he died oh, only there now if Moses was not to enter there what was the use of all of God to show him the, those lands even will die today let us tell you even if you die tomorrow but let me promise you the job let them promise you the job. Even if today you will die. No, 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 no. Fight for your chance. When you're fighting for your chance, your spirit after the death of your body, your spirit will remain. It will continue the project of your body. Your spirit, wherever you are, will continue the project of your body. If your body is not planning anything, your spirit too won't have where to go when it will remain. We shall get out of the body and we shall remain the spirit now. Now those spirits will continue to go according to the project of bodies. What your body is planning? Your body is planning what? If your body is not planning anything, if your brain is not planning anything, you must know that you kill your spirit. Let me tell you, when God show him the land, after showing him the land now, now Moses died here. Jesus come and speak to the disciples. Among you, there are some who will see the wonderful of the glory of God before they taste the death. Then they will see the wonderful thing, the miracle. And he took them and he go with them to the mountain. It is in Canaan, it is in Jerusalem, where they were. They go to the highest mountain, what they was calling the Mount of Olives. Mont des Oliviers. The African there, into the night, Jesus Christ has transfigured. And I become another one. Metamorphosed. Become very white. After a certain time, they saw Eli. Elijah. And they saw Moses to the right. And Elijah to the left. They stand up like this. And Jesus at the midst. But it is where? In Jerusalem. And when they saw the disciples recognized that yes, this one whom we see here is Moses. The other one is Elijah. Those people, they buried them into the, the country of Moab. Far from their place. But after burying them there, they are stout, their spirit is in Canaan. It has arrived in Canaan because of what? God knew that it will arrive. Now for, for it not to be lost, we must show it the direction when it again into the bodies. And God showed them the, the directions. Now, why Moses died there? Into Moab. They have not seen what he has done. No. No. Moses didn't sin. Oh, because he beat them. Oh, no, 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 no. They have no sin. It was a secret of God. Elijah. Elijah was a minister of God. And he died into Moab. Only into the valley of Moab. Now, when Israel was to go and to enter in Canaan, it is to say Elijah could remain there because he was in ignorance. When he was into the body, 
they didn't show him the secret of Israel at his lands. Now it was obliged the cricket master Moses to remain there with all the information of the direction so that he took him and go with him again in Canaan but into the spirit. When Moses remained there into the well the, the Moab Valley. Directly was looking for Elijah. After finding Elijah, he took him there. He was in ignorance. He died without information. And he took him and he carried him and he got together with him. Said, no, I know the place. And they start to go and they stand there into Jerusalem. Them too. Now, if there was no information when there was again alive, they could be lost into the sepulchres. My friend, my mommy, my father, if there are no information of your future, you must know that the day you will die, you will be lost. You will lose because what? you won't know where to go. You won't know where to go. This is the reason you see more people are lost. More people are lost. And God is speaking what? My people are lost because of the lack of knowledge. Let me give you information. Even the man who has got it. Who has got it? Yeah. No one. You don't have it. It is to say money is at the other side. Is at the other side. As money is into the other side. Today, when you are again alive, you must fight into the realm of the spirit. You see the money. After seeing the money, and you can go there into the spirit, and you go, you pick it, and you come back with it. While you are again alive, fight for seeing the things of your future. If you don't fight, you lose your child. You destroy your children. You are not father. You are no mother. Because of what? You don't know to fight when you are again alive. You are looking for everything what you don't have. It is to say, it is in the beyond. It is in the beyond. Now into the beyond, for going and taking back your life, you must stand up here and you see first where you are going. It is where you see. Okay. The man is there. Now you enter. Even the fishermen, if they want to enter, they are swimming. To swim, it is not to throw yourself into the, the river like this. And you say, no, no. It is first of all, you stand up, you say, I will enter by here, and I will get up there. When you are again outside, not to think when you are inside. No, they are thinking when you are outside. You say, I will enter by here, and forget not there. They let you enter and you start to go. With that project, after arriving there now, you get out. It is a project. Where there are no projects, there are no progress. What are you thinking to be tomorrow? What have you planned to become tomorrow? You want to become um? Whatever you are planning is what will happen to you. Now, see it. See it. Say, ah, in the afterlife. Say, in the afterlife. Am I talking? Papa. The time has gone. I will, I will continue. Because I am, home, I am only here. I will continue. There are no problem. The problem of the time. Eh? Is, is it important? Is it important? Uh, I'm very glad. You know, what I am seeing. It's not what you are seeing. It's not what you are seeing. Your life is at the other side. For having it, you must see it before you are not again going there. 
Jesus started by prophesying. They will kill me. But after three days, I will resurrect. And after resurrecting, I will precede you to Galilee. True. When is he resurrected? After getting out, he sat on the rock, on the stone, and he said, no, my project is what? I must go to Galilee as I have spoken the time I was alive. Mary and the others Marys when they had gone to the sepulchre, they found the angels for information. And the angels told them what? The, the one you are looking for has already resurrected and he has gone to Galilee as he promised you when he was again alive. If he didn't promise you, he didn't say they could find him where? Into the grave. You are sleeping with that project of tomorrow. As we shall go to sleep here, people are sleeping. Ah, ha, I sleep. <clears throat> you don't know how you will raise up. <laughs> Pay attention. Tell your neighbor, don't sleep for sleeping. Before sleeping, plan what you wish tomorrow. And when you sleep, directly your spirit will realize the project of your body. And you are raising up early morning and you are sound, you are into your plan what you suggested yesterday. But you are sleeping for sleeping. And you start to mistake that no, no, witches came to catch me at the lake. They didn't come. The problem it is you yourself. You, you, you slept with that project. Hallelujah. Amen. If I want to continue, Daddy, it will go far. Okay, it is a long story. Merci, sir. <laughs> Are you glad you too? Yes, I, I want to continue. I want to continue. Tuwaze mugini wa mengo.